Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I'm going to teach you about what a parallel light is and how it works. So first of all, I'm just going to bring up the uh, a light in here, and we're just going to bring up, change the uh, light type to parallel. And I'm just going to change the color back to what it was. And remember that <clears throat> the last settings that you used for your last light are going to be the new settings that pop up in your new light that you're using. So I'd like to set everything back to what it was. And a parallel light comes out like this, if you're looking at it. It's got uh, a different looking, uh, different looking, whatever you call it, symbol, I guess. And it's a bunch of arrows that point somewhere. Now the reason why this is is because a parallel light is pretty much like a flat surface that shoots out light rays in one direction but without the um, constrictions of the cone light and without like shooting it in every single direction like the ambient light. And I made this uh, MS Paint drawing so I could explain it a little better for you. <clears throat> So we've got an ambient light here, or ambient, or I should write also uh, point. So we got the ambient and point light here, where it's just going to uh, shoot out from all directions. And I haven't gone over the ambient light yet, but I will in the next tutorial. But all directions, you can't control what's going on. And then you got this uh, cone light here you can control where the cone light is pointing and it shoots out directions but it's restricted to the cone the parallel light think of it as like a, a square here and other programs use a square and think of that square as having a bunch of lights in it that just shoot out in one direction and you can aim it and it's not constricted by any cone or anything like that so it's like using a combination of a point light and a cone light or a spotlight actually I don't know why I wrote cone there but spotlight so that's the uh, that's the drawing there now we've got the uh, light here and it has a point of interest that we can animate or move around if we would like to and I'll go back to the options here and the options are the same as the point light so you've got your intensity here that you can lower or you can uh, raise I guess same thing you can change the colors so I mean green maybe he's in like looking out there because World War one is starting and you've got the uh, green mood set You've got the fall off. That's going to be just on the edges here. And then you got your fall off distance, of course. Just uh, the same thing where the edges are going to uh, fade out, kind of like a mask feather. So we'll put those back. You can also cast shadows. And if you have it, and I'll just teach you how to cast shadows again in case you haven't seen the other two tutorials um, about lights so in case you're just coming to see what a parallel light is I'll show you how to cast shadows you make sure this uh, cast shadows is checked and we'll hit OK <clears throat> now I'm gonna bring up an object so I c that I can cast shadows with and I've got that uh, there make sure that the object is in between the the light and and the uh, thing that we want to cast shadows onto and it is so we want to twirl down to these options of this is the thing this is the picture that we want to have the shadows cast on we want to make sure it accepts shadows and lights and those and it, those are on and onto the item that is casting the shadow we want to make sure we have cast shadows on which is up here at the top 